Hey there, it's Boots on here. This is a still SE62 vacuum cleaner. I've never seen a still vacuum cleaner before. Ready for it? It's not a happy bunny. Taking the top off and inside, that's the filter. That has seen better days and it's certainly not sealing up properly. Okay, I'm sure it's the same as inside as it is outside. Yep, that's pretty dusty. I'd say the motor's dead, broken, damaged. Who knows? Let's get into it. So you take two screws off the top and then you prise the orange bit off and then you take a load of screws out of this middle bit and you prise it off the black bit and then underneath all that is revealed this little tiny motor. It's smaller than a Henry motor. Must, uh, must be good enough because that's what they put in it. Now I could energize it but what I'm going to do I think first is just vacuum all the dust off it with a Henry to make it clean because otherwise that's just going to go mental and make it all dusty in here. So let's uh, give that a tidy up. So I've been vacuuming away at this and I noticed if I can see it there's something in here. Not a big deal really but a bit of something. What is it? Like masking? That's just a bit of tissue or something. Paper. Uh, I was told this had a excellent motory sound like a burning burning motor smell coming off it. I can't see any replaceable brushes on it. Don't know where they might be. There's springs. I think they're in underneath here. I wonder if that clips off somehow because it looks like it's got four little one, two, three, four kind of locating spuds. And there's a spring on that side and a spring on the other for the brushes. Could just fire it up and take the dust. There's a load of snot stuck in there. Look. That's not going to help with airflow. That's just from wet plaster, I presume. I think if I unstake these little bits here, I might be able to pull off the metal. I've done that on a Henry before, and they don't like it, but you know, give them what's good for them. You want to fix the bloody thing. Oh, it's a bit. Can't see. There's a lot of lateral play in that. So we're going to go in then, I think, one way or the other and see what's going on in there. There's some kind of a stamp on it there, 28. It might have been a week and year code, but it's rubbed off. Very small motor. 290 written up there. UPGF12 up there. Number 7 there. I wonder if we put the dirty screwdriver on it. Let's just try. Mm, it doesn't want to doesn't want to pop. It may have screws driven in from that side. Oh, this, is, this one's quite easy to take apart. It's uh, miraculously easy. Doesn't do anything for me though. Look at that. It's a little, call it workmanship, but each one of those little blades is brought in like a, it's not a helix. Spiral, I think it is. Part of a spiral. Here's your play there. Okay, so how does this come apart? Or does it come apart? See, those could be heat fused in position. They could have some kind of a snap on them. Let's get these cables off. If that makes any difference. There does seem to be uh, twisting this against that. And that's twisting, so one of these should come off if I could get a grip on it. There we go. Okay, that's off. What does that tell us? Nothing. It tells us the bearing on this end is knackered too. Try giving that a tap. Apart from making a load of dust on the bench. Ooh. Jeeps, look at that. That's just, oh, the dust is unreal. You can't see it, but I can. If there was a lack of performance, this is probably a suitable repair. But the fact that the bearings are knackered as well. Bearings are funny though, because it might be okay if you put it back together. Sometimes motors can float. It's not recommended, hey, but you know. There's just loads of stuff just keeps coming out of it. 
You can't see it, it's all hidden around the corners in there. You can see a bit in there, maybe. The world's smallest bottle brush. Get tidied up, we'll try a bit of power on it. Got it mounted in the vise. Got the safety block over here with the power. Dust, ready. I have to turn the lights off for this little light show. <laughs> okay, the lights are almost off. Okay, so we're disconnected from the supply. Uh, I can't really show you in there, but I think I'm going to break it open actually, because what's the point? It's not, it's not doing anything. It's completely dud. The smell. It wasn't so dusty, but it's the smell that was the bad thing there. It's obvious that the brushes are just arcing and sparking on the commutator. It's quite hot there with my fingers. I can feel it's not hot, but I can feel the heat coming off it. Let's let's try and bust into it. Oh, it's moving. Okay, so two of those are broken. Now, I don't know if I broke them. I must have broken them. It's just two contacts there for the field windings that come off, I'm guessing, the sides of the brushes or something. There's your windings. It's a little bit hot, but, you know, it is what it is. Nothing major. Plenty of brushes left on it. Strange, but the commutator is just a bit dud. Those bearings have a lot of play in them, you can see that. Shouldn't be doing that. In theory, these probably like roller skate bearings or something. 608 rubber shield. It's the kind of thing I might have, but I've got to get this one off and you know, that's the, that's the problem there really. Let's hook that out, that spring. Hook this one out. I think this video is coming to a close because we're not going to do much more with this. There's the brush holders. And let's just see, they're, they're not too hot to touch, but no, they're moving freely. Bit of a chip on the end of that brush. Look at the filth of my hands. I'm not sure how to drive this off. I wonder if I put a cloth over it, can I unscrew it? Oh, that's sharp. Ah, oh, it's stiff. You can see the play in that there. Yeah, I think this one's for the for the bin. Let's just see if I can pop it off this way. I've broken something there. Yeah, it's not meant to be like that. It's just gotten stiff now. I don't know what's going on there. It's it's more, I've smashed the whole thing up really. Look, I don't see how you can get that out really without <laughs> destroying it. But uh, yeah, it was, it was drifting out. It's moved about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch, but I'm just smashing it like I don't really care. That's it. So there it was, the still SE62 vacuum cleaner. Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.